lighting the torch. Open the acetylene cylinder valve three quarters to one turn. If you're using a key, leave it attached to facilitate quick shutoff if needed. Adjust acetylene pressure. Refer to a tip chart and obtain the proper gas flow rate for the tip size selected. Open the oxygen cylinder all the way as its valve seats fully in the open position. Set the oxygen pressure according to the tip chart. Purge the oxygen and acetylene lines by opening the torch valves for 5 to 10 seconds. Close the valves, double check regulator pressure and adjust if necessary. When using a combination torch with a cutting attachment, open the oxygen valve on the torch handle all the way. This ensures maximum flow to the cutting oxygen lever. To light the torch, open the fuel valve one eighth of a turn and ignite the gas using a spark lighter. Continue opening the fuel valve until the smoke and soot disappear. Now transfer to the oxygen valve on the cutting attachment. Slowly open the valve until you establish a bright neutral preheat flame. Depress the cutting oxygen lever. If necessary, readjust the preheat flame. Typically, you'll need to add a bit more oxygen. Alternate fuels are much heavier or lighter than air, so they tend to float when lit. As a result, they require different lighting techniques. Technique 1. Turn the fuel valve one quarter turn and light. Then turn the oxygen preheat valve one quarter to one half turn and walk up the flame. Technique 2. Turn the fuel valve one quarter to one half turn and light. Place the tip on the workpiece at about a 45 degree angle. Open the oxygen preheat valve one quarter to one half turn until the flame snaps into place, then walk up the flame as normal. Technique 3. Turn both the fuel and oxygen valves one quarter to one half turn. Light the flame as soon as possible and walk up the flame. This is not recommended with acetylene and you must purge the system before lighting the torch. <laughs>